Welcome back to the Stephen A. Smith Show right here over the digital airwaves of YouTube. I felt like relaxing, taking video calls this time around, ready to tweet, ready to calls. But you know what? Sometimes it's fun to see who's actually sending in these questions, who's actually calling in. When you put your face to a name, you know, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So let me listen to what the folks have to say, because after all, again, as I said, I am a man of the people. What's up? What's up? Stephen A. Smith. What's going on? It's your boy, the coach, Sean Bell. And I have one question that I need to ask you. I've been on your show a few times asking you some Q&As. You picked it. But here's a question that I really need to know. You get a chance to play for Bill Belichick or Nick Saban at their prime, most prestigious coaching level. Who is the coach you want to play for? And which one of them would you consider more of a GOAT? I have to tell you, it would be Nick Saban. I think Nick Saban is one of the greatest coaches we've ever seen in our lifetimes. His, his attention to detail is big time, but he has shown an ability over the years to adjust. Nick Saban has had to coach different kids over his years at Alabama. Bill Belichick, had Tom Brady for 19 years. Yes, you went to nine Super Bowls. Yes, you won six Super Bowl titles. All of that is true. And over the course of that period of time, you were able to accomplish it with different players, but the same quarterback, all right, obviously a dogged system that you enforced, a culture that you enforced, that you never had to alter in any way because those dudes were coming into the NFL and they wanted to be there and they wanted to win and they wanted to get paid too. Not that they got paid that much from New England compared to other places. But the biggest thing about it for me is that you had Tom Brady. Nick Saban had a multitude of players at the quarterback position and beyond, obviously, because you're talking about college. So he was called upon to make adjustments as things occurred and he did it. And he did it at a very elite high level. Nick Saban is my choice on that particular question. Let's go to the next one. Hey, Stephen A, big fan of the show. My question for you is, what is the number one rivalry in all of sports? Is it Yankees Red Sox? Is it Celtics Lakers? Is it North Carolina Duke? What is that premier rivalry, the number one across all sports? can't bring up rivalries, my man, without mentioning Michigan versus Ohio State in football. But I would tell you, my favorite, being a basketball guy, is North Carolina Duke. And here's why. They're eight miles apart. See, everybody keeps looking. And you know what they're looking at? They're looking at these two programs, these two story, story, story programs going up against one another. Let me get the personal into the mix for a second. When you eight miles apart, you're both in Durham, North Carolina, even though Chapel Hill is Chapel Hill is basically its own city, its own town. You go into the same restaurants. You go into the same parties. You messing around with the same honeys. Let's just call it what it is. There's a lot that goes into that rivalry. See, when you and I am in Ann Arbor, Michigan, or Columbus, Ohio, that's hours apart. North Carolina and Duke is minutes. And those ain't football schools, it's basketball schools. I say you take all of that into consideration. You cannot underestimate the power of that rivalry. North Carolina and Duke, that's what it is for me. Last one, what's up? Stephen A, what's up? This is your boy, Chuck Bass. This is Groot, and we both want to know if you and Pitbull walk into a room, who are the ladies coming to see? <sighs> it's Pitbull, man. I'd love to say it's me, especially since I have more hair than him. But the fact is, is that he's a musician. He's an artist. Now, I'm an artist in a variety of different ways, no doubt, but not to the level he is. He's a musician, an artist, and obviously he's made a lot more money and he's filled arenas and all of this other stuff. And you know what they say. 
musicians have it good. Even comedians will tell you, as important as it is to make a lady laugh, when you can sing to them, remember Luther? When you can do that, you have a special gift. It really, really, really does matter. I have to concede. As confident as I am in myself, I'd have to play second fiddle to Pitbull. That depresses me. <laughs> but it's true. And by the way, I think he can speak Spanish too. And he lives down in Miami. Damn, he got the life. I wish I was Pitbull. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye.